Hey everyone, Tony here, JP Wisco back with another video for you. Uh, so today, as you can see, I've got my camera switched around. Um, and usually I notice when I do the close-up videos of like just my hands, uh, that they tend to not get as many views as the ones when I'm like just showing them with my face and everything. So I decided to... But the, the the you can see the cards better if I do it this way, right? So I decided to test out uh, this ancient Mexican technology that I got from Pepino Man. Actually, this is uh, forbidden ancient Aztec knowledge, um, but he's allowing me to uh, test it out for myself. Uh, so thank you, Pepino Man. Uh, so let's get into the cards. I'm just going to show you guys some random stuff. Uh, so here we go. I think it's all baseball today. So first up, I got this cool um, Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton. This is from 2017 Bowman's Best. And, uh, yeah, it's cool because it's, uh, 2017, of course, was the first year that Aaron Judge, this was like his rookie card year. Uh, and of course, these guys are now both teammates, although Stanton was on the Marlins at the time. And I got this awesome gold Mickey from 27, 2017, 2018, 2018 finest. This is the gold refractor. It may just be me, but I think the gold refractors in particular are getting kind of hot recently. I don't know. Uh, here's a Aaron Judge 2017 Stadium Club rookie card. Uh, I, this is the gold one, not numbered, but it is a parallel. Um, really like the look of this card, so. Aaron Judge, man, when he's on the field, one of the best players in the world. How about a Bowman Tops 100 Bryce Harper prospect card? I think this is from 2011. So predates his rookie year by one season. Of course, Harper was not in the minors long. He was a 19-year-old rookie. Which, a fact that I think a lot of people forget, and particularly, like, Harper haters, uh, when they kind of criticize him, I don't know, it's like, I feel like some of Harper's haters don't really get, like, how young he still is. He's only in his age 29 season. It just seems like he's been in the major leagues forever because he was a 19-year-old rookie, so. Uh, oh, this is the only football card, I think, for today, but check this out. Patrick Mahomes deep dive. He's looking like the uh, Nirvana, the Nirvana baby. <laughs> so I had to pick this up for real cheap just because, and there's like the real shot. <laughs> but yeah, he looks like that Nevermind baby. And I think that guy who is, of course, now a grown up, <laughs> like sued Nirvana or something. I don't know. Uh, how about this awesome Jeter? Uh, this is, I don't know, one of Jeter's many pre-1996 cards. Not a rookie, not a... I don't know. Jeter's got so many cards. But I've, I've always wanted this one. And it's not particularly expensive or anything. It's pretty cheap. So just check out, like, the cool 90s design on this. Such an awesome card. Uh, I got this... Um, from 99 Skybox Thunder, a uh, Tom Glavin. So this is the Rant Parallel. Uh, and the Rant Parallels were found in retail boxes, uh, where there was also Rave and Super Rave. And those were found in hobby boxes, and they were numbered. Rave, I believe, to 100 and Super Rave to 25. And the rants aren't numbered, uh, but they are stamped rant on the back. This is an interesting set. So this is from the Skybox days, the mid to late 90s days when, like, Skybox cards had, like, Tood 
Like, they had, like, 90s tood. And this set has, like, wraps on the back. So it says, how about that? Another Cy Young for the mantle. At your, uh, another Cy Young for the mantle at your crib. Keep pitching like you've been doing, and you'll need room for another. So that one wasn't really a rap, but some of them, like, actually rhyme. <laughs> so, yeah, man, these are cool cards. The The front of the, the front design is not particularly um, good. Um, actually, uh, I always say that it kind of looks like a school yearbook kind of deal. Like, I don't know, you know, when you used to, like, get your school yearbook picture taken... It kind of has school yearbook vibes, but... Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, Tops Gold from 2006 Brew Crew. We got Ricky Weeks and Prince Fielder. This is a gold one. Of course, Prince Fielder. Uh, one of my favorite players ever. Alright. How about this sweet Albert Pujols? Man, check this out. This is freaking awesome. So this is probably from the early 2000s. Yeah, two, ah, mid-2000s, 2005. But tops for a while there made really cool foily refractory insert cards. And how about a Ichiro? So this is from Upper Deck Gaudi, I want to say. So got a nice Ichiro there. What is this after the bold ink, or what are those called? Those Gaudi cards, bold signature, bold wide pen. Uh, okay, picked up this purple Vlad Junior Refractor. Um, yeah. Not really much else to say about that. Uh, here, so here's another great foily insert. Uh, so this is another football one, but it's cool. So here's Aerial Assault Brett Favre. And check this out. How cool is that? So, you know, I don't think this was intentional because it was a... It was a, this is just an insert series, um, so there are other players, but this little, like, uh, target <laughs> where they're going to drop the bomb is kind of on Green Bay, <laughs> and it's it's mainly on the, the upper peninsula here of Michigan, but uh, kind of on Green Bay, too, so <laughs> kind of an interesting little detail. Gold Bowman, you Darvish, rookie. Gold, but unlike the Topps Golds, it's not numbered. But this one is. Here's a probably 2014 you Darvish, I want to say. And this one's numbered to just 75. Lucky number 7, eBay 1 of 1. So, pretty sweet. 2014, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so this was one that I found uh, myself just digging through boxes. Check out this Kyle Wright Blue Wave Refractor that I had sitting in a box. So I must have pulled this. Um, I, I must have pulled it from 2019 Chrome and forgot about it because, of course, for the past, you know, few years... Uh, Kyle Tucker, or sorry, not Kyle Tucker, do I keep saying that? Kyle Wright. Uh, looks like he kind of finally figured out figured it out this year, and this dude is, like, unhittable now. Um, but, of course, before this year, this card was nothing. And now I suppose it's kind of special to the right person. So this is out of 75, so... Um, decent color match with blue. Uh, yeah, I got this, uh, 2010 Topps Finest Ichiro, or pff, Ichiro, wow, Albert Pujols, uh, Refractor, so, man, look at how Finest, you want to compare, so my next card is also Finest, so this is a 2018 Devers Rookie, 
Check out the difference between the finest cards from 20, 2010 and like how they do it now, man. There's no etching on them. They're all flat. They don't make them like they used to. But both pretty cool cards, so. And all right, I've got uh, Ichiro Dream Matchups. So this is actually, as you can see, it's a die cut. And this is Kazuhisa Ishii versus Ichiro. Ishii was also in the major leagues for a brief time. I think he was with the Mets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is from 98 BBM. Pretty awesome. I love that baseball with, like, electricity around it. Uh, how about this? I got a 2019 Stadium Club Hank Aaron uh, photo variation. So this is an SP or SSP or SSSP to the 10th power or whatever you want to say, right? They keep adding S's. <laughs> and I don't know. It's like people kind of... I think, like, sellers on eBay, man, it's always, it's like, uh, it's like talking about the size of your own endowment. Uh, it's always, like, people always lie, it's like, this is an SSSSSSSP. Uh, anyway, I'll stop being lewd. Um, but, cool card, and, yeah, hang Aaron. Uh, okay, uh, the last card that I have for today is... Really, really awesome, and I had never seen it before. Uh, as I said, I was doing some traveling, and I went to a card shop uh, in Osaka, uh, Osaka, Japan, where I was for a couple days, and I found this awesome Ichiro card there, uh, and this is it. So this is a 2002 Fleer then and now insert with Ricky Henderson and Ichiro. And man, check this card out. 2002 Ichiro second year card. Um, yes, this card is in a recessed snap holder. Don't at me. I like them because they're thin like PSA slabs. But this thing is numbered to 275. I have never seen one. I don't think it's a parallel. I think it's just a uh, sort of quintessential 90s style. Of course, this is uh, early 2000s, but 90s style kind of like rare insert card. Um, and this is numbered to 275, not a parallel. But man, check this out. So, of course, I can let you read the back here. Um, so, yeah. Pretty awesome. Nice addition to my Ichiro PC. So. Alright guys, well that's it for me as always. Thanks for watching. Peace.